Ladies and gentlemen, gamers, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is gonna be the first in a series of bite-sized videos on hotkeys and mechanics. I'm doing this beginner guide series because the game is brand new, and I think when a game is brand new, it's the biggest opportunity to start fresh and build really good habits. Um, for me, you know, coming from the StarCraft community, I've always used hotkeys. They've always allowed me to kind of enhance my gameplay and implement the strategies that I want to implement without being limited, you know, by just simply a mouse, for example. And uh, you don't need to use them. They're not 100% necessary. Uh, Relic has done a great job of really making sure uh, that this is not a mechanical game. It's more uh, emphasis on tactics and strategy. So uh, it's not necessary, but I really want to encourage you guys, the Sarge community, um, to implement these these uh, tips and these mechanics uh, to the best of your ability in any way you see fit. You can customize it in your own play style and your own preference. And I'm doing these videos uh, in bite size. So they're going to be short videos, one mechanic at a time. That way that you guys, if you want to implement it into your game, you could focus on one uh, you know, video, one suggestion, one mechanic, implement it in your game, practice it, refine it, and then move on to the next bite size tip. So I really hope this is helpful for you guys and let's jump in. All right guys, so this video is gonna be all about unit grouping and you can see in the bottom left hand corner on the unit icons, none of them are assigned to a hotkey. And you know that because there's no number above them symbolizing the unit grouping. So in order to group a unit, all you have to do is select that unit, hold the control key, and tap the number you want to assign. So we're going to tap one. So we're going to once again, grab the unit, hold control, tap one. That's going to assign this pioneer to group one. And you can see in the bottom left hand corner, there's a one uh, number above the pioneer indicating its unit group. So now in order to select the unit, instead of having to find the unit on the map and grab it with your mouse, all you have to do is tap one. Now let's say you're in the bottom of the map with your camera and you're doing something right? You're engaging the enemy or micromanaging your units. You can select one to grab the pioneer and you can move him or you can double tap one and it will focus and jump you straight to that unit, right? So it's a very, very fluid and, and great way to multitask. Now, what I like to do is have a complete system of how I unit group every game. That way it's easy to remember. I have a system that I follow every game and it gets into your subconscious where you're, you're no longer thinking about it. You're just doing it. And uh, what I like to do is have my pioneers on one at all times. I like to have my grenadiers on two because they're the next uh, mainline infantry that progresses in the game. So in my mind, it's easy to remember. So I'm going to group them to two. Uh, I like to have my specialty infantry on three and four. So that's my sniper. Once again, holding control, tapping three. And my MG, holding control, tapping four. And as you can see in the bottom, we have one two, three, and four. So if I want to jump between them, I just can tap the buttons. Tap one, tap two, tap three, tap four. If I want to jump back and forth, let's say I want to jump back and forth between the Pioneer and the MG, right? All I have to do is double tap one, double tap four, double tap one, double tap four, and now I'm moving back and forth. If I want to just select one and four, one, move, four, move. Right? That's much faster than grabbing the unit, than looking for the other unit, grabbing that unit and moving. It's much easier to seamlessly jump between. So I would recommend you guys jump into a skirmish game, hockey your units, and just start playing around with them. Right? Start trying different unit groups and combinations, and it, it becomes a great way to just increase your army control. Uh, in Let's Company of Heroes. So, okay, but now the next thing you might be wondering is, well, you hotkeyed Stay one, off. three, and four to these you units, and that makes sense, but why would you put all of them on number two? It's a good question. Uh, let's let's show you how to sub-select. So, in order to select all my Grenadiers, I have them all on two, so I just simply hit two. Waiting orders. Now, that's gonna f select all Grenadiers. of them and you're gonna move them all Grenadiers. simultaneously, Grenadiers. right? That's great for big movements, macro movements, but it's not good for specific type of tactical no, movements. So once you have them selected under number two, We're you can moving. use the tab key. And as you can see here, I'm sub-selecting units right, within the group, right? So I click two, Waiting grab them Grenadiers. all. 
And let's say I'm going to move right with all of them. Now I can sub-select one at a time, and I can move them in different directions. You see that? That way, you don't have to grab every individual unit, move them to different corners. You can sub-select. So let's do it. Let's do it with two units, so it's a little bit easier to follow. So we have our two units. Okay. Let's say I want to move them in two different directions. All I have to do is hit two, move right, hit tab, and move left. And now I've just moved in two different directions for a potential flank on my opponent's MG, for example, right? That's much faster and quicker than grabbing all of your units like this. Grabbing one, grabbing one, moving, right? It's much more fluid and much more smooth. Okay, guys, so the next video is how to jump between your squads without a unit grouping. Um, as you can see in the bottom left hand corner, we do not have a number over, over any unit. So we do not have them unit grouped. Um, what I've done, and you can go to settings and go to controls, view and remap controls, selection and orders, go all the way down. And you'll see right here, focus next infantry. I've mapped that to the spacebar hotkey. And what that's gonna allow me to do is focus the next squad. So what I do is I hit spacebar and it focuses the first squad. Hit spacebar, it jumps to the next one. And then the next one. Hit spacebar, it jumps to the next one. Spacebar once again, right back to the original unit. So if your units are in all four corners of the map, for example, let's move him here and move him here, right? And you wanna just keep tabs on your army. You wanna jump back and forth, make sure they're all doing well. Just keep hitting spacebar and you can jump back and forth to every unit. Um, you know, you, you don't have to use spacebar. You can use any unit grouping you prefer, but that's what I like to use. All right, guys, for the next tip, it's all about vehicles. So what I've done is I've mapped my hotkeys for vehicles in settings. Once again, going to controls, clicking on view and map controls, click on selection and orders. You're going to go all the way down to the vehicle section. And as you can see here, I've done two for vehicles, two in particular. The first one is focus next vehicle. That's the back tick in the top left-hand corner, right next to the number one hotkey on your keyboard, uh, also called tilde. And uh, that's focus next vehicle. So same concept that we just looked at with infantry, but now with vehicles, so jumping between vehicles. And the reason why I've chosen this hotkey in particular is because it's still within the number row right in my mind it's easy to remember because i'm in my mind i've already mapped my brain to remember that number one two three four five and six are all number unit grouping hotkeys for my infantry so it's only natural to have a a, a keyboard button close by for vehicles so what i've done is focus next vehicle is this back tick button uh, and then the next one is select all vehicles is the zero button. And the reason why I've chosen zero is just because it's at the very end of the row. So once again, easy for me to remember, but this could be any hotkey you want, right? It doesn't have to be a number. It could be a letter. Um, it, any way, any system you want to do it is perfectly fine as long as you're able to remember it and easily implement it. Okay. So let's jump into the game. Once again, we don't have any unit groupings on our vehicles. So one system that I've um, implemented is focusing the next vehicle. Once again, I've used the tilde or the back tick key. And what that's gonna do by tapping one time, it's going to jump to the next vehicle in order. So starting with the Tiger, straight to the Sturm Panzer Brumbar, then to the Panzer IV, and then to the Whirlwind. Now, it's perfect. Imagine all these units in different places of the map you can quickly tap and jump between all of them, right? Um, it's a little hard to remember, so it's good to have both um, mechanics that we've talked about. Number number one is unit grouping. So let's put the Tiger on uh, one. Let's put the Panzer IV on two, the Brumbar on three, and the Sturm Panzer or the Whirlwind on four, okay? Now with this system, you know exactly what hockeys you have by remembering according to your system or the unit groupings in the bottom corner. So you could, if you want the, the tiger, you, you double tap one. If you want the Brumbar, you double tap three, right? If you want the Panzer IV, 
you're gonna double tap two. And remember, double tapping is gonna send you straight to the unit, right? So let's go straight to the Panzer IV. We're gonna double tap two. But let's say you're with the Panzer IV and you're moving here and you don't want to jump to your Tiger. You wanna move it on the map. You can simply tap two for your Panzer IV, right click, then tap one for your Tiger. It selects it on the mini map. As you can see, it's, it's highlighted in white and you can move that. So you don't even need to see your, see your units to move them. And I'll show you this one more time. Uh, the minimap, we have our Panzer IV on this bridge, and we have our Tiger approaching the left side bridge, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move our Panzer IV and our Tiger at the same time without even focusing them. Uh, we're gonna be back at base. Our camera is in a completely different place. So, okay, remember our Tiger's on one, and our Panzer IV is on two. So we're gonna tap one, move the Tiger, tap two, move the Panzer IV by right clicking. Now, if we want to jump to them, we could double tap one, we jump to the Tiger, double tap two, we jump to the Panzer IV, and then we can hit the, the tilde or the back tick, and we could jump between all of them if we want, right? So I hope that's helpful for you guys. All right, guys, so for the last tip in this video, it's all about sub-selecting vehicles, which is exactly the same as sub-selecting your infantry, as we uh, just showed in, in the beginning of this video. Uh, but all you have to do is drag, grab your vehicles. You need to send the okay, now you have both of them. If you were to right click, you would move both of them in the same exact spot, right? But we don't want to do that. We want to be a little bit more tactical. So what we're going to do to make it quick, instead of grabbing one unit, moving it this way, grabbing the other unit, moving it this way, right? That's very, very slow. It's a lot of work to, to move back and forth. It's a lot of clicking. What we're going to do is we're going to grab both units, select both of them, right? You could either select both or you could also group them to a hockey. So hockey four, right? Either way is, is perfectly fine. Okay. We're going to, let's say we want to move in two different directions. All we have to do is tap four, move right, hit tab, move left. You see that? So what happened there is you sub-selected by hitting tab. I'll show you once again. We grab both of them, right? We have manpower available. In the bottom right, we have both of them selected. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move in one direction and then we're gonna hit tab and we're gonna move in the opposite direction. So we're gonna select our, our tanks. We're gonna move right, hit tab, move left. See that? Much easier than having to grab each unit individually. I hope that was helpful for you guys. My, my goal really is to help you improve your game and I'm gonna be starting a series of mini videos like this. And uh, if this is something you like, please go ahead and like subscribe. It goes a long way in helping to support the channel. Leave a comment. Let me know what you'd like to see next, and I'll see you guys in the next one.